In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the map method uh, for JavaScript. So what map is going to do is it's going to cycle through uh, an array and then it's going to process each value in the array in turn and at the end of that cycle it's going to go ahead and return a new array with the modified values. So I'm going to go ahead and create an array here and that's just a standalone array but I'm going to go ahead and assign it to a variable. So we'll just call that var r equals We'll call that anything really. I mean, it could be just be B, A, whatever. But I'll just call it R for array. Console.log that. R. So now clear. Run. You can see the array 1, 2, 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach the map method to that array. Let's see what this looks like. So I've got here the map method. There it is. In its raw form, doesn't have anything attached to it, nothing really going on. So we're going to go ahead and attach the array now. So r.map, and then in here, I'm going to go ahead and put a function. Give it a little bit of breathing room. And then right in here, I'm going to go ahead and put n. That's going to be the variable that's going to hold the value. Uh, or the current value in the array as it cycles through it. Now that could be anything. It doesn't have to be n. It could be i. Uh, it could be x. Uh, it could be number. Let's see what that looks like. So if I just say number and I say return number. Actually, I'll do console.log here. Console.log number. And then if I clear and then run this you see it returns one two three likewise I'm gonna go ahead and just go uh, make that X and then clear and run see it does the same thing so it really doesn't matter for this here I'll go ahead and just say uh, num num well, for simplicity's sake, let's see. Elsewhere, just n. So clear, run. One, two, three. And there we go. So now we're seeing the values here, but we're not seeing the array. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm going to return n. Then down here, we'll say console.log. All right. Now I'm going to assign this array.map to a variable. So let's just say var map equals and then right down here I'll go ahead and put mat okay. clear and run and you see the array one two three but again the point of mat is to do something with each value in turn and then it's going to return the completed or finalized new array with the updated value so let's just do something simple here like m plus one and clear run and then you see two three four now this can get more complex again, it just depends on the needs and typically you're going to see map methods uh, with a lot more stuff going on. But let's just go ahead and play with this a little bit. So if I say if, and then here I say n equals 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 3, this value is 3. And down here, let's say else, return and then just end and let's see what that looks like there you have it one two and then since this final value here is three it says this value is three so you get the basic idea of what the map method does and go ahead and play with that a little bit uh, and then just kind of see if you can identify that in other code too um, and you'll see probably more complex examples of this but this is the basics for you to get an idea of how the map method works